Okay, we're coming up to the visitor center here at Aztec Ruins National Monument. And uh, it is a free national monument, and it's pretty amazing because it's got incredible ruins here. Maybe one of my favorite places to go just for all the different things you get to do and walk through the ruins and everything. It is going to be busy. It's a Saturday, but let's go on in and check it out. All right, so in the... Uh, museum area here a representation of the layout here as it was it's pretty cool because you used to be able at least to walk through ruins pump band oh, sandal yeah it says it's a twined sandal quill fabric A feather belt, turkey feathers, Tattooing instrument, that's cool. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Cool. Incised gourd rattle, it's pretty cool. Oh, Aztec black bowl. What's interesting uh, to note here, they're talking about how the alignment, the way it's built, is very similar to the arrangements, the symmetrical arrangements that you saw at Chaco Canyon. Oh, okay. All right. So, most of Aztec was built between 1100 and 1130. They had renovation 1130 to 1200. And then again, 1200 to 1290. So we can see here, I assume this is the early construction. So you can see on the left there, that when I move over and notice the different colors are how many stories they are. But when I move over, we have that new construction. And then when we go to the later movement, we even have more construction. All right, let's go out and see the ruins. This area has a pretty extensive uh, set of ruins here. And uh, yeah, you can walk amongst the ruins, as it were. And my favorite place is coming up, and I hope it's just not jammed with people talking. Okay, so we are coming up to the entrance to a restored Great Kiva. So it may get a little, it's dark in here, and it may get a little uh, noisy, the video. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. It says, please be quiet to respect the place. And of course, no one's quiet in here. So you have a little ante room here. Ah, oh, yes. Little door outside, and then... So... 
There is a like a ladders on these two windows. I love the wood. What I'm disappointed so far as I didn't see. They used to have an audio track in here. And I sat here and pushed the button for, oh, 23, yeah. So it used to be right here. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, but look at that. And we have a Native American guy down here. So these columns, you'll notice down here when we get here, you can see the circular stones. Columns were actually placed on those stones to give like a foundation in the soft earth. show a cross section first of all so you can see the circular stones down under the column here and then the construction of the columns themselves and as I was saying from the ante room all of these areas here have sort of a ladder so I suppose people could either sit up in the windows along the bench here and various actors and ceremonies I guess could have different ante rooms that they could climb up to and change costumes or whatever then we have the side pits now I can't remember what these are for a fire pit a smoke hole right up as a fire pit. I have to admit I'm really missing the audio track that they had in here. Made it pretty special. Let's see if I can find something. All right, so we're coming back to where we went into the Grand Kiva. And we have another kiva. This would have been a smaller one, not a grand kiva, but it's got some of the same features. The fire pit down below. And right here would have been the venting for the fire, allowing air in to suck in and then go out the top. Look at those great timbers over there. So it has two layers, two ledges, so maybe observers up here and participants down below. I don't know, I'm not sure. And then the pedestals. This is a very, very common design from the ones I've seen all over the West. All right, let's go up and get into the ruins, huh? All right, so stay here. Get these doorways. So these come up about to my chest. Well, not always easy getting through these areas. I may have had a fireplace here. Or just a cubby. Possibly a window through or because it does look like maybe it's been just blocked up. Hard to say. Yeah. Then up there. That's pretty cool. May have been a, another room probably on top of this actually. Yeah. There would be a doorway for it. Very interesting. Can you imagine living in the middle with you not even on an end or on top? I don't know that I really want to go through. 
Got to leave something for you guys to do, right? All right. So here we'll be going up, checking out some more of the rooms. And we have another Kiva. And it looks like they may be doing some work inside it. So again, somewhat similar design, a little different. I don't know if they had different purposes or not, but this one appears to have several vented areas, possibly. I don't know what else they would be. If you look down here, you can see all of these are with cracks in the walls or openings, I should say. Uh, oh, well, yeah, it appears to be another cube over here. This on the other side, but this is rectangular. with more or less a circular form inside the rectangle. And then there is another kiva. And beyond that one is another kiva. So community organizing areas, religious areas, ceremonial areas. There were generally quite a few kivas in these structures. And this one's fairly big. So... So it's interesting here, you can see in the wall over there, a row of uh, holes. So my guess is, is that possibly that's for this room here. And that sand is just filled in probably as deep as this one over here, I'm guessing. And then he would have had another room up here above it. It's pretty cool. Uh, look at that, it's so cool. See the big timber here coming through the wall and the small ones again more than likely this room here is deeper than it is now all right let's go around so here's our grand key and then we have ruins going out here and so we're kind of walking in the middle of the ruins so you can see the keyhole door that's what they call these where you have the different levels and the rock here just look at the construction. We got the big rocks, and you have two or three layers of the small rocks. And then this wall over here makes you wonder if this was an add on later because it's a totally different construction. You can compare the two right here. Totally different construction methods, I guess, would be an apt way to put it. All right, let's go on. See more through the keyhole. Yeah, so these things weren't necessarily all built at once, as we see the different constructions of the walls and such. But you know, they would have built them in phases as population grew or other groups joined them. Okay, here we go again. We're probably right level here with the roof line. Could have been deeper here than it is now with rooms above. You can see I'm walking down and now you can see how the holes for the sticks are much higher now. Let's see over here. Sort of a little pass-through passage. And then we come down again. And it's very muddy. See the ends of the poles from maybe broke off or from another room. At least I don't have to duck for this one. Look at the uh, ridging here, like where they might have chiseled the rock to shape it. You don't see that a lot of places on the rock. Right through here. I don't know if I have to go back or I get to go out. Oh, wow. Oh, we get to go into some dark rooms. All right, the video may get kind of grainy here. Looks pretty cool though. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, this it's much darker in here. Gotta look out here. See the grinding stones. This is pretty cool. So this gives you an idea. So you can see the little air passages on the sides and then the way the roof line is, the beams and then the 
reeds and such and then you can actually even see the mud that would cover the floor above so while you're sleeping you have mud falling down on you i guess i don't know this is awesome this is too awesome i can't believe there's nobody else in here either they have a whole bunch of like grinding stones i guess they've collected and they just put them in these open rooms behind the uh, plexiglass and these doorways are actually much uh, larger i would say they're oh, four feet or so each one of these rooms has a number so i'm not really sure yeah every room has a number now oh, here let's see out See if it'll close down him. I'll close it down. You can get a view out here. How it goes from room to room to room. Of course, we're walking room to room to room, so. Certainly, oh, I'm certainly glad to see those stairs there. All right. That was awesome. That was totally awesome. Yeah, I don't know where this trail goes. It is not, uh, since I don't have a trail guide, here we are at the back of the ruins. Possibly, oh, there might be some ruins. I'll walk up a little ways. Here's the back side. We're lucky it was supposed to be raining. So it's pretty nice that it's not. Let's go see what's up here. All right, back there's the main ruins, and we're coming up. Looks like we have a kiva here, sort of out on its own. Oh, it's one of these interesting uh, multiple ringed. So here's the vent hole right here, and this kiva is obviously uh, filled in. Not a huge one, but every once in a while, you see these ones that have the multiple rings and probably these were much deeper. It also appears that possibly they had uh, anti-rooms as well. In fact, I'm in one right now. Let's see the corner there and then I'm inside it. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Oh, you know, these are very rare, I think, these dual ringed outer kivas like this. In fact, I think they make a point of that in Chaco Canyon. All right. Well, I don't think there's really a whole lot more we can learn. All right. We will see you in a bit.